Today we are doing Mahatma Gandhi. So you're wondering, or you probably already know who um, Gandhi is. And he was born October 2nd, 1869. And he lived in India. And you're like, well, what's special about him? Well, he was an advocate of nonviolent boycott against the British Empire. He just wanted his people to be free. And he wanted to do it in a peaceful way. So he's pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with his head. We're gonna start with the round part of his head, but then we're going to add things to it. So we're gonna start with a circle. You're like, I can kind of see some lines. Well, yeah, because I first, I look at a picture, I draw it, then I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna teach you how I drew it. Uh, in simple steps. So we have a circle, but if you look at his head, he kind of has like a little bit of a cone head on top of all. So we're just going to add a little bit of a cone here. When it's done, it'll look good, but it looks funny right now. But he does have like a little cone head. Kind of a cute little cone head. And then now we're gonna do his jawline. So it's gonna come down here. So do this on both sides. And then now we wanna go down to his chin. So I'm just trying to show you the best way I can how I got that. All right, so now we can erase the bottom of that circle. All right, my signature, he's looking kind of tilty. So we're gonna make a line down the middle, make it lightly because we're gonna erase it. And then you want to make a line across the center, which we're going to put right here and we're gonna put his glasses on. So that's not really center, it's above the center because the center really is where his eyes are but we're just putting the glasses there because that's what he's known for, these cute glasses. And bald head, fluffy eyebrows, mustache. This is him, that's what he is. So he's got his little ears sticking out here. Cute. And then inside the ear, we're just gonna go a rainbow and then a little I know, rat sound effects. My husband's like, what are you doing? Okay, so I want to make it look like it's connected. So let's erase a little bit in there so it looks like it's part of the face. All right. All right, Gunde. Looking good. So we are going to put his glasses. So he's got these cute round glasses. So you're just going to put one on one side. One on the other side. If you want to put some eyes in there, I just... I don't know, for this look, I just wanted to just get the glasses because once you see this, you're like, oh, I know exactly who it is. And then now we're gonna put um, a bridge on there. So connect that. And then he's got a nose right there. And then he's got a mouth here, but that's just like a bottom of the lip. You're like, that looks so funny. Okay, let's continue on with this, um, his mustache here. So just an archway, and then you're just gonna put his mustache in. All right, let's erase the center line. So always do this softly so then you can see. You don't have to see it later. We don't wanna see it. Just a little helper to find the middle. So then you wanna like, okay, I gotta fix this. And for his nose, it kind of has like a slight point to it. And then we're gonna bring it all the way up to his glasses. So we can erase whatever's in there. He's got his mustache. Actually, the mustache kind of comes all the way, almost all the way down. So let's bring it down farther. And this is just his bottom lip. And so on his glasses, we're, I mean on his mustache, let's give it some hair. Boop, 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 boop. That looks good. Uh, so Gandhi is considered the father of the nation for being being a mobilizing force behind Indian independence. So he did it in a peaceful way. Oh, I like this guy. Okay. So now we want to do a double rim. So we already did the outside rim. So do the double rim. So you're going to go parallel as carefully as you can. It's so hard to do circles. Ugh. Unless you have like a circle, a tool. So now we're just going to do the double rim here. And I just did two little boop, 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 boop. 
and it's got the side of his glasses and then his glasses are going to go behind the ears. So same thing on this side and then put the glasses behind the ears. And his two little crease lines because he's kind of old. Got creases here. And his eyebrows. He's got some amazing eyebrows. Even though he has no hair on his head, he's got a great mustache and great eyebrows. So we give him his eyebrows. So um, in 1930, he was the Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Wow. That is awesome. So let's see. Uh, let, uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. If you want to make a little bushier, a little bigger, you can. And then you're just going to add some hair in there. I guess I didn't make them too even. Let's bring this. Let's make it a little more even here. And then put some hair in there. Okay. And I wouldn't Sharpie this, but I did when you did put um, the colored pencil. I'm going to put some creases, creases up there. Okay. So now for his outfit. Every picture I've seen, he's wearing like, I don't know what it's called. I should know. Anyways, it's always like a white. I'm not going to call it a sheet because it's not. It's his white. Uh, it's called a tunic. Okay. And we're going to have his bring some lumps back here. So this is going to be where it's all those rolls are. And now let's do his hands. So what I did for his hands, let's do an oval for the hands. So he's kind of like, it's like a sign of like peace or he's meditating or prayer. And then it's gonna be so side. And I think he, from what I remember, he used to fast a lot. And he's a little skinny guy. And I picture him, you know, crisscross applesauce sitting there. Now I made a mistake here. I was trying to get just all the little folds coming down, but I think I'm gonna, this one, I'm actually going to put his whole arm in there. This one's like a partial arm because the material is covering up, but it makes it look funny. But I'd already drawn it. Now we're going to put some fingers in there. So we have one finger, two finger, three finger, and then the fourth one's behind. And his thumb is like way behind there. So we can erase this. He went to the University, oh, I thought this was interesting, University of London, and guess what? He became a lawyer. What? Oh, I did not know that. That is crazy fun facts. But I guess that, you know, he used his, all of his law degree to help his people. So, all right, this is his hands. Now we can put some more material on this side. And then now we're gonna make this material collect over here. Uh, let's see, what else do I know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. While he was in South Africa, oh, he was thrown off a train in first class for having darker skin, even though he had a first class ticket. And he's like, um, yeah, that is not cool. And so from that point on, he decided to oppose the unjust treatment of Indians. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something good in my life. And that's what he did. Okay, so now we're going to make all of these little folds of material. Just bring this in. Oh, he has his rolls here. So let's put this in there. And let's put some rolls here. It's going to go around. Okay, so what we're going to do... I do have more fun facts, but I'm going to show you how I colored it. First, I'm going to do my ultra fine Sharpie, and then I'm going to go around the outside with my fine Sharpie. So let's do it together, and then we will color it together. Using a big Sharpie. Okay. 
Let's erase. All right, now we are going to do layers. So first we're gonna start with these glasses. So they're just the gold and yellow. So we're just gonna color those really hard. And then uh, somewhere else I read that when he was older, he went back to his place where he was born because he had already done a lot of amazing things. Um, so what you're gonna do on the inside, we're just gonna have it look like it's like glass. So just do it lightly, this is tan. I'm just going to lightly come in here and then I'm just going to put some like just a little bit of lines in there. So do this is just tan color. And then just leave it. That's it. Okay. So I want you to actually color all of Gandhi tan and then we're going to do layers of like light brown and then dark, I mean regular brown. So I'm just going over this whole face tan. Okay, so anyways, when he was older, he went back to his birthplace and he, I'm just gonna color half of it. Um, he went and he cleaned up the area, making it look better. He built school, new schools for the, for the kids. He built new hospitals. So he, man, this guy was like busy. Okay, so we're coloring all that in new color in his body. So I'm just showing you how I colored. So this is the first layer. Now we are going to do, oh, fine, we'll color the whole thing. Okay, because that just looks funny. We're just gonna do the whole thing because I have to get all the way to his hands. And so if he was born, let's see, he was born in 1869. 100 years would be 1969, so He's definitely not still alive, but he's had an amazing life and impact on generations after him. So he was one amazing guy and we still can love him. I mean, put it this way, when I'm gone, are people gonna be like, oh yeah, she was amazing. No, probably not, <laughs> but that's okay. I left my mark in the world and I've done my best. Okay, so I colored it all with tan. Now, oh, that looks funny. Okay, so now I'm going to use the light, light brown, and now we can just come in here. You can go a different direction if you want to, and we're gonna put the shadows in. So right underneath the eyebrows, it's darker, as you can see, and we're gonna go around the glasses and do the same thing on this side. Go under the eyebrows, darker, and then go around the glasses, darker. And go under the glasses darker. So anywhere the glasses are, let's just go around it. It's gonna make the glasses pop out. Oh yeah, that was a good. Sometimes I don't know words and so I just use sound effects. It just makes life easier. Okay, so now we're gonna go under the nose, giving it the shadow. And then just go lightly on the nose. He's got sh shadow around the nose. Oh, under his mustache we're going to put a shadow and then we're also going to go um, in his ears for sure make that dark in there in the ears and then now we want to go around his head so it's going to be darker around the outside and as you come in you're just going to start fading in to color okay so do the same thing on this side so it's darker around the edge and as you come in just make it go lighter if you're doing this for like a school report, I'm hoping it turns out good. Let me know if this was helpful. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, I wasn't, I was okay in school. I did pretty good. But my favorite thing was doing reports because back in the days, everything was handwritten and hand drawn. So, because it wasn't computers. Um, and I know what? Is that possible? Yeah, it's possible. So everything was hand drawn and man, I would always get an A++ because I would just doll that report up like there was no tomorrow. It had tons of drawings and pictures and maps and graphs, you name it. I put it in those reports and I don't have the best handwriting, but man, I would work really hard on my reports. And so the teachers always liked them. I thought 
how they did. Really, really, really good on that. Okay, so now we're gonna put under here a little shadow. Oh, remember how uh, he has the wrinkles? This must be when he's older in age. So we're gonna put some wrinkles up here and let's put some lines on here. So now we can actually come in and we're gonna do some darker, but you know what? I think I'm gonna put lightly gonna go over my tan here because it looks like he needs a little more color on his face. Okay, the hands, pretty much the same thing. Okay, so come in here with a regular brown and do his eyebrows. So he kind of has some gray in there because he's getting older. So I'm just gonna put some of these. I'm gonna color, go around the outside color. Do the same thing on this side, go around the outside. And then, there we go. Same thing with this mustache. So go around the outside. And then get those couple in there. Super duper. I might even do a little touch of brown of the underneath the glasses to give it more of a shadow. Maybe a touch more in the ears. Okay, now I'm gonna give it a touch of pink just because I think that just brings things to life. I might do more layers. Do you see how I just had layers and layers? I think I might do more layers. We're gonna put some pink in there. Just to liven it up, I'm gonna put some pink on his cheeks to make him look, look alive. And a little bit on the nose and maybe a touch on the ears but i'm thinking you know what i'm gonna go over let's see what this looks like if i go over a different direction of the tan because it looks like it just needs it yeah that looks better so i'm going a different direction it's kind of filling in some of those white spots if you go another direction it looks like it needed that yes for sure so i agree going another direction That does look better. And then now I'm gonna come in, it looks like it needs some more of the regular brown. So where I'm seeing it needing it, I'm gonna put some more shadows right here. And maybe some more under here. And where else am I gonna put this? Maybe under his glasses a little more. Oh, I'm gonna put some more in the wrinkles. And under his chin, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that looks way better. So it just by just playing and tweaking, and you just keep doing it until you get to the point where you're like, oh, that's why I love it. And the last thing what you're gonna do, pick a background color. I'm using gray just to make the shadows show up more. So you're gonna come along where all the lines are and just make some shadows. And of course, work on the hands because the hands need a little love loves. But anyways, keep working on that and I think it's going to turn out super duper fantastic. Good luck.